What is up, you guys? It is your boy John here from Puma Plot. Welcome back to another Rattlesnake Valley Let's Play here on the PC. Of course, I do appreciate you guys clicking on the video. How's it going? And welcome, welcome, welcome. I can hear myself in my headset. I don't like it. I had both my ears on, so we have to take one of those off now. Otherwise, I hear myself in my headset like way too much, and um, I don't know. I don't like it. <laughs> There's just that. I just don't care for it i won't lie i do not care for it anyway so we are um moving ahead with the replanting process we got field 12 done off uh off recording for you guys i was in the map actually a little bit last night irl and uh decided to go ahead and get it done so that we could move the uh, planter over here to uh field 13 and get him fired up as well because of course it is harvested uh, we are going to sell the wheat here in a second and then we are going to start the sugar beet process um, the next video in this series will be a high speed harvest i obviously haven't filmed it yet but i will film it later today irl so oh my goodness there's a fence there did you guys know that you'd think I, by now i would know that there's a fence there um, but yeah, so I will film it later today IRL so that you guys uh, will see that uh, See it next the next video basically in the series will be Fast time to sugar beets and uh, we'll see how far we get in an hour of recording um, if we come back like real speed or if we come back in high speed or We'll see what we do uh, Following that video. I don't know how long it's going to take to harvest field 14 and sugar beets and I think what I'm going to do honestly well we'll get to that in a second we will get to that in just a second let me go ahead and jump down here where we conveniently have trains just awaiting you know how convenient it's like we it's like I planned something once in my life you know it's amazing <laughs> Uh, so our wheat price, I know, is not like, well, it's actually not terrible. It's not terrible at all, actually. So let's go ahead and um, let it rip tater chip. And uh, get all the wheat sold. We do have all three trains lined up here. Uh, just are ready to go. So there's that. <laughs> I know our price is drastically going to suck by the time we get done. 120000 for the first one. And uh, we'll see what we get it down to by the time we get to the last car over this. Just over 120000 for that first car. So we'll see how low it will go by the time we get done. It's going to be pretty bad. 108000 So we've already lost a lot. Oh, stop train, stop train, stop train. All right. And this is still the most efficient way to sell stuff on this particular map. Um, the cell points on this map are so tight and closed in and just kind of not conducive for bringing in like temporary storage buildings and all that kind of fun stuff. So it's kind of unfortunate, but hey, it's just the way it is, right? Not really a big deal, but just the way that it is. So that's that's just that. Okay. Sell off again. We've over 500,000, which isn't bad. Hoping to have a decent amount of money. Um, I would like to get kind of the second farming operation going for um, kind of the central of the map. The two small fields, basically. I would like them to kind of have their own equipment, their own combine auger wagon, and something to haul with. Even realistically, I don't need an auger wagon at first. If I can't afford it, no big deal. Uh, set up a set of tippers to uh, empty it and go from there. So we're down to 80 grand per trailer now, which uh, it will hit like a bottom and it will stop going down there. It hit, that's probably bottom there. It actually went up. How does that work? Is the price actually going up right now as I'm selling? Uh, yes, it is. <laughs> the price is actually going up. So that's good. That is good. It probably won't matter too much, but hey couple extra bucks here and there is a couple extra bucks here and there you know what I'm saying 
Like, you can't go wrong with that. You just can't go wrong. Alright, so I know this train's gonna have to drive through the other train, but the way you tab through the trains, it just... I should have laid them out different. But hey, that's okay. I actually put them here by, like, capacity. So we had the biggest train first, the next biggest train second, the smallest train last. But because of tab reasons, um, it just kind of works better to uh, just tab, you know? It just works. Yeah, this train's not even anywhere near full, which is fine, which is totally fine. Still got a fair bit, so it's worth selling. It is definitely worth selling. But hey, our prices are going up, so we might as well, uh, yeah, we could actually fast time a bit and make uh make more money off of this stuff but it's all right it's just we need to get rid of it and uh that's just that that's just the way it is right all right so i have two thought processes with the sugar beets how to 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 handle them because that is going to be a lot i mean a lot of sugar beets i'm probably you're probably i mean millions right so because of oh wait how did that work out oh uh, because i got in the first train i didn't tab through oh this is actually the first train in tab oh okay i thought this would be like the middle train my bad um so the two thought processes are one i can harvest them take them to the central train and then you know shuttle them around with the train to you know fill the go ahead and fill the trains and uh, go at it like that. But the problem is that building only holds 500,000. It would actually be interesting. You know what? I am going to do it that way. I'm going to take them to the central train. The other option I had was to take them literally from the field to the sell point and just sell them. Just flat out sell them outright and go from there. But because of the, like, the curiosity of wanting to get a final total... And I don't want to put down a placeable building because I have problems with course play filling out of those buildings. And uh, we just don't want, to, don't want to do that. So there is that. So we're over a million dollars, almost 1.2 now, which is very, very good. The price is actually still going up, but that's okay. Um, yeah, so what we'll do is we'll shuttle them around via train. And actually, I can take a full, that big train, take 500,000 liters up north to hold. I'm not going to take any of these for the pigs. I am basically just, you know, whatever uh, pig food we have up there, whatever we have set aside, we'll use what we have. Uh, what we can't use to make the mix power food, whatever, we'll just sell off eventually, all in due time. Because I'm kind of just, I don't know, done with pigs in a way. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. I don't know. My mouse is giving me fits today, guys. It's a wired mouse and the wires giving me fits. Okay, so we actually want this train. We'll go ahead and take this train around. The other two trains can sit over here inside each other. That's fine. <laughs> fine and dandy. So 1.3, almost $1.4 million is what we're up to. Uh, that is very, very good. Why is this computer dying right now? I'm not recording at 30 frames right now. Look down. Does that help? It does help. Oh, I am recording in 30 frames. Um, my CPU usage is a little all over the place right now. But hey, that's okay. Can't wait, by the way, to get this new computer rocking. Uh, I've got some of the parts. I know I, I'm trying to keep you guys updated. The, the ones that just watch on YouTube, uh, I do have some of the parts. And uh, hopefully we'll get some of the other ones coming soon. But like I've said a million times in these videos... Um, computers are expensive, <laughs> especially the caliber of computer I'm trying to build, um, is, is going to be, it's going to be pretty good. It is going to be the gaming PC and, uh, the current one I have will be the recording slash, uh, streaming computer, the current quote, good computer, the old computer will get retired. I know I've said this a billion times in these videos, but Hey case there's somebody new you never know right but i'm looking forward to it i i truly do believe in the two pc stream setup um for streaming and recording and actually i i thought of this analogy the other day because i was talking to my dad about it and 
you know, no no offense to my father, but he's, a, you know, he's a little older. And trying to get somebody who's maybe not, how do we, how do we say it nicely? Tech savvy would be a good way to say it. Trying to get somebody who's not very tech savvy to kind of understand what I'm doing and why I want to do what I'm doing, you know, is a bit of a thing. So, oh, we wanted to harvest with course play, didn't we? How are we going to do that? How are we going to do that? We are going to have to do a little bit of math, which is not a big deal. Not a big deal. So, what we need to do here, guys is we need to I got a phone call on my phone and that blinking light is distracting the crap out of me right now so if we come in here and the header is four meters which obviously is going to be eight let's see how do we do that and then we do half of that so that's so we do two right i think it's two i'm probably butchering this but we will uh We'll figure it out here. All right, so if we do this, four meters, but we want to set our working width to actually eight meters. Okay. And then we want to offset. We want to offset half of the head, which would be the four meters. Um, so we're going to start. We are northwest. We want to go east. We want to go around the field actually a considerable amount of times. Uh, let's go around the field five times. And then this guy's gonna get offset to the left. And we wanna make this four meters, I believe, is what we're going for here. I know I'm clicking a lot, and you guys can probably hear the click, 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 but that's okay. Um, and then we want to, uh, we need to generate, uh, we need to tell it what field we're on. Uh, field 14, we need to generate our course, which like lock the game up. Okay, cool. <laughs> Let's go ahead and start this. Where's our. Did I not start that right? North, west. Oh, that's counting that as northwest. Okay, let's do south, southwest, heading east five times around the field. And field number 14, let's generate that. And that locked up the game. <laughs> oh boy, course play. Course play is not happy, guys. Course play is not happy. All right, so this should be down here, and then we want to go ahead. Let's uh, let's save this, and really, this is a temporary save. So we're just gonna call that 14. Hit the enter key, which locked up the game again. Oh boy, um, I have a spinny blue circle of doom right now on my screen. Okay, wow, we are killing this this map right now with course play. Um, let's go ahead and tell you to go to the first waypoint and, um, get to it, buddy. And let's go get this guy. So we're going to load course 14. I'm going to come back over here, put him to field work. Um, and then we're going to, okay, he's good. He doesn't actually need to know any of that stuff because it's already, already in here. The thing we do need to do is we need to offset him to the right to the same four meters I believe and hopefully this all works and then tell him to go to the first waypoint as well and get at it bud do we need to unfold him or is he going to unfold himself he should unfold himself now the corners are going to be horrific and I'm well aware of that especially as many times as I have him going around the field but I like Enro's headlands whatever you want to call them so we're going to have him go around that many times. This is the way I'm going to do it. And, uh, yeah. So next we need to set up our... That did not work at all. How many meters did I just offset you? Four to the right. Is it only two meters? No, because that one looks spot on, doesn't it? That one there looks spot on, but this is clearly not right. So if we... What if we just offset you two meters? Is that better? Is that better? Now that's legit. How does this one only go two meters, but that one goes... Okay, that one's off too. Okay. Um, let me go jump in that real fast. 
Okay, yeah, you're way off. Um, what if we just tell you to go two as well? So it's half the header width, not the whole header width. My, my bad. We're probably going to need to generate courses again then, huh? I don't think they're going to get it all, like, on the next pass, you know? I would say they don't. Let me... We'll run them for now. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work, and uh, that's just the way it's going to be. We'll fix it later if it doesn't work. Okay. Dang it. I wanted the... Oh, I just passed it. Okay, let's just do it this way. Say so they're sitting right there somewhere. All right, so what we need to do is we need to set up a course that is going to be foolproof. Okay, foolproof. <laughs> um, allegedly. Where is the gate down here? I think what we're going to end up doing is using two gates. Yes, it's going to... Oh, dude, there's two gates here. How perfect is that going to be, boys? Oh, I will take this all day long. Okay, this will work. So what we're going to do is we're going to have the course start somewhere up this way a little bit. Like, uh, let's go right there. Course is going to start, going to drive a second, whip a U-turn. Okay. And since we have two gates here, we're going to go out one and come back in the other one. So we need to make sure we leave enough room, but we also have to watch our turns here. So we're going to whip this around. And then snake it through here. It's totally going to work. And I know I drive off center on these roads, but hey, that's just the way I like to drive on these roads. They're, they're too bumpy if you drive in the track. I know. I know. I see your comments. <laughs> Comment. I see it. And then pull through here. As always, pull through here. And then drive out. We're going to go right into this gate here, or this cut through here. How sweet is that course going to hopefully work? Hopefully. Hopefully. Uh, actually, I should have it end in the field because then... Oh, uh, with the auto-detect, right? I should have it start in the field too because of auto-detect. So let's just delete that, and then let's go into the field a little bit here, which I don't necessarily like doing, but uh, because we want them to be on auto-detect, I'm not going to put, like, one on each thing, you know? I'm just going to set them to auto and let them rip. Um, actually, no, you know what? I just, Oh, my goodness. Stop. Delete. Collaborate and listen. Ice is back with his new rendition. Uh, I'm going to run an auger wagon on these, right? Isn't that what I'm going to do? I think that's what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to run an auger wagon on these. So we'll start course recording again. How many times can I butcher this? How many times? I think I'm going to do... You know what? Screw it. <laughs> I have terrible luck with the uh, auger wagons, if you guys recall. Plus, I don't necessarily have to be at the computer the, the whole time to harvest this. Because this is going to take forever. So once they get past the first couple end rows, they'll be fine. As far as them being in the field there. And hopefully, they'll be fine. So let's do this again. Strike that from the record. You guys didn't already see me do this once. I swear. I swear. <laughs> 18 minutes in a video, or almost 19 minutes in a video, and I... You know, spent half of it just screwing around with this one course on course play. Goodness gracious, right? Can't have anything nice, can you guys? That was an aggressive turn there. Did a little, like, reverse bunny hop thing. Reverse bunny hop. I'm not even sure what that would be, guys. It sounded good, though, right? Probably not, actually. Alright, so we're going to drive. Stay out of the field as much as possible and then drive back in. We're actually going to leave this course short. Quite a bit short because uh, I feel like it will work a lot better. So let's save this as you guys know my, my naming here. Uh, Alright. And let's put you on... You're going to overload? No. You're going to empty combine. Transport. Uh, and you're on auto. So you should be good. Should be good. There's no combine ready. 
Right. Go. <laughs> Get to it. All right. Well, not a chainsaw. What the heck? We don't need a chainsaw, boys. I mean, we always need a chainsaw, but dang. All right. I know you're stuck in traffic, so let's go help out on this first unload. How far did they make it? <laughs> they can't even do a pass. <laughs> Oh, this is going to be just god-awful terrible, isn't it, boys? This is going to be terrible. Auto. Uh, we need to load. We need to load. What is this? 14, yeah. Click the button, John. There we go. Jeepers. Jeepers. Creepers. Yeah, so let's help out on this first pass, and then we should be good to go. And like I said, next video will be the high-speed harvest montage of epicness. And hopefully our course is going to work for these guys. If not, we'll have to redo it and shrink it up a little bit, which uh, would not be the end of the world, of course. So it would be good. We actually really need these guys to get separated for the offload reasons. It'll work a lot better. But I feel like harvesting this way is going to be good. Keep the harvesters somewhat close, but getting them separated will be a, a good thing. You know, get them separated a little bit. If this doesn't work, I will just switch and uh, probably hire them and just let them run hired for a while. You know, that might work. I don't know. We will have to... Uh, how fast do these things go? I'm going slow six. Is that my problem? No, seven. I don't know. The way you bob and oh, the edge of this field's not straight at all, so it's gonna bob and weave a little bit here and there. We're not going to get them all, and to be perfectly honest, guys, I'm okay with that. Okay, I am uh, perfectly okay with that. Actually, I want that guy to stop. This back guy. Really want him to stop. Oh my goodness, Lanta! What was that? The leg spikes are starting to get real on this map, boys. They're starting to get real. Like I said, I know the corners are going to be horrific. They, they're they going to be bad. But hey, that's just the way it's going to be. Oh, my Lanta, the leg spikes. Can we stop this guy for a minute? There we go. All right, I'm going to call it here, guys, and we will continue the harvest in the high speed next time as long as this map keeps running on my computer and doesn't die. Because <laughs> these leg spikes are killing me. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day. And as always, toodles.